What's going on in your Giants fans? Welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to that notification button so you get notified when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate y'all coming back once again. Another roster bubble video, another roster bubble profile. This one is on Devontae Downs, linebacker. Uh, he's going into his fourth year in the NFL, so big step for him. Played a lot with the Giants last season, started eight games, made 33 tackles, made one quarterback hit, and recovered one fumble along with deflecting one pass. He played 21% of the defensive snaps last season and 62% of the special team snaps last season, so obviously he was a presence there. But just as an overall profile, real quickly, just the simple stuff, he was not good for the Giants last year. A lot of blown assignments in zone and man coverage. Sometimes he would tackle efficiently. Sometimes he wouldn't tackle efficiently in the open field. So obviously that was a big liability for the New York Giants last year. Just having downs next to Blake Martinez. And they factored in Crowder and David Mayo and all sorts of linebackers last year. But they need to get a grip on that second linebacker position if they want to be an elite defense this year or a top five or a top ten defense. Now, I think that they have the expectations and the roster to do that, but everything has to go well, of course. So, as for Downs, here's his competition. Real quickly, here are his coverage stats from last year. Uh, gave up a completion percentage of 66.7, allowed 14 completions on 21 targets, uh, allowed 121 yards, 8.6 yards per completion, one touchdown that was to Austin Hooper in the Browns game, and also allowed a passer rating of 97.5. So obviously not great for downs. You know, here's the thing. Stats, you know, you can make the case, oh, Blake Martinez has worse stats in coverage. Blake Martinez makes up for it by defending against the run and tackling efficiently. This guy doesn't. You know, he's a journeyman, and I've said it for a while now, I don't think the Giants should rely on journeymen for different positions. They should rely on their young guys that they are developing and not just guys like Downs who are reclamation projects. Um, but anyway, here's his competition coming into training camp, coming into the preseason, stuff like that. We'll see more in preseason games. Cam Brown, Carter Coughlin, Reggie Ragland, Kel Garrett, and DJ Brunson. Kel Garrett, I think, was an undrafted free agent from last year, played with the Titans and the Vikings. Uh, don't really have much on him. Looks like he's just a camp body, in my opinion. TJ Brunson, a seventh round pick from South Carolina from last year, played like three special team snaps or maybe like three defensive snaps. Wasn't much to the Giants last year. Carter Coughlin played some meaningful snaps. He did get one sack, and that was on Tom Brady. Started two games, 17 tackles, two quarterback hits, and also played a total of 18%. Of the defensive snaps, 36% on special teams. Take a look at Cam Brown, the six-round pick out of Penn State from last year. One forced fumble, 12 tackles made. Played in 15 games and also played 9% of the defensive snaps, 77% of the special team snaps. So obviously there's some stiff competition there. And you also you have Reggie Ragland. The free agent signing from the Detroit Lions was with the Kansas City Chiefs in the past. Also with the Buffalo Bills in the past. So who can he beat and how can he win? He needs to get better at what he didn't do well last year, pass coverage. Uh, if he doesn't do pass coverage well, he has to tackle efficiently. If he doesn't do that, he just has to be a good guy on special teams, has to play to the tone of what Joe Judge wants. Uh, I know I'm being really plain with it. Also, he has to stay healthy. I don't think he's had any injury problems over the course of his career. If he has, I'm wrong. But he needs to stay healthy. With that being said, he needs to tackle efficiently. He needs to not blow assignments because that's going to be a big part in him making the roster. And in my opinion, he's the underdog right now. The only guys I could possibly see him beating are TJ Brunson, Cam Brown, and Kel Garrett. But Cam Brown could be on the same level as him. Though he didn't play as much defensive snaps as Devontae Downs did, he played a lot of special teams. So they could view it as, well, if we lose Devontae Downs, Cam Brown is efficient on special teams. So I guess that's, you know, a perspective they could take on Devontae Downs losing him or doing whatever. Uh, Kale Garrett, just a camp body. I don't know much about him. Played some good ball at, I think it was Missouri. 
Uh, Bobby Skinner of Talking Giants has a film breakdown on him, and he thinks that he can make the roster. So, obviously, shout out to Bobby there. And also, TJ Brunson, you know, didn't play much last year. So, he's, in my opinion, not going to get the edge. Sure, he's a draft pick, but once again, Devontae Downs played more than TJ Brunson. Who may he have trouble against, and how can he lose? Do the same shit as last year, miss assignments, not tackle efficiently, uh, get limited special team snaps, because special teams, obviously is like the link in a fourth preseason game in the past and a third preseason game now because they cut it down. But for like final players that coaches didn't know if they were going to make the roster or not, special teams was the impact. There was a lot of players in the past that we thought would have made the roster or they did make the roster because of their impact on special teams. Cody Core uh, was signed by the Giants off of waivers two years ago because of his impact on special teams, not because he was receiver. With that being said, uh, he could have trouble against Reggie Ragland and Carter Coughlin. Coughlin has been getting a lot of meaningful snaps with the ones in training camp in the absence of Reggie Ragland and Blake Martinez because of one going on the COVID list, one going on the non-football injury list, stuff like that. But he earned a lot of you know attention with the ones. It wasn't just Devontae Downs or someone else going with the ones. And that shows you that the Giants have a lot of confidence in Carter Coughlin because they could have selected and say, hey, you know, let's go out and get another guy. Even, even though Todd Davis retired, they could have said, hey, Devontae Downs, you're going to play with the ones now. Kale Garrett, you're going to play with the ones now. They decided not to do that. They decided, hey, we're going to put Carter Coughlin with the ones and put him next to Tate Crowder till these two linebackers come back. They have trust in Coughlin. So that's why I don't see him getting cut. I think the Giants are making progress with his development. Uh, Reggie Ragland, he's a good tackler, can play the run well, can pass cover decently. Uh, obviously, you know, some of the stats are tainted a little bit because he was on a terrible Detroit defense last year, has had some injury concerns over the last few years since coming into the NFL, but I definitely see him overtaking the linebacker spot, the second linebacker spot. If it's not him, it's Tate Crowder. If it's not him, it's Carter Coughlin as well. I think Tate Crowder, I forgot to mention him in terms of competition, but I think Crowder could definitely beat uh, Devontae Downs because I think Crowder, the Giants have more patience with and, you know, he's not a reclamation project. He's a seventh-round pick that showed you more than Devontae Downs did last year because he was a journeyman. But um, I honestly don't know why the Giants decided to pick him up in 2019. I guess it was special teams. 2020, they kept him over Ryan Connolly. Connolly was injured. Obviously, that's a two-year-old argument almost. One-year argument almost, really. But in terms of that, Devontae Downs, I don't see him making the roster. He's not making the practice squad because his years of eligibility have run out. So I think he's going to go to another team, make a special teams impact, stuff like that. I think it's going to be possibly the four linebackers, if they keep four inside linebackers to keep five, whatever. I think it's going to be Martinez, Ragland, Coughlin, Brown, and uh, Tay Crowder. So if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that notification button on so you get notified when live stream pops and video drops. Appreciate y'all coming out more content along the way peace out see you later and stay cool